Hi Aries, this is Heather from the Crystal Bean Tarot here to do your mid-month reading for December. I would like to thank all of you for the love and support you have given me on my channel and I would like to thank each of you personally for all of your beautiful messages and positive responses. I truly feel blessed. If you would like to contact me, my email is posted below along with a ma mailing, e e well, mailing address for those of you who would like to send postcards. For those of you who are new to my channel, I am an energy healer and intuitive. And I'm also new to the world of YouTube. And my personal goal is to reach the 100,000 subscribers and so I can share these messages with as many people as possible. Um, I really enjoy posting these videos on YouTube and, and doing these readings. It definitely is a passion of mine, so please subscribe if you haven't already. And for those of you who are already subscribed, thank you so much for your support. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you. And stay tuned for a special contest um, that I have coming up later this month. So thank you for listening. Now let's get started with your reading. I am doing a general reading. And as a general reading, these messages will resonate differently for everyone. So please be sure to check out your uh, moon and rising sign readings as well for a complete picture of the energies around you. I'm using the Gilded Tarot deck and the Celtic Cross spread. The Celtic Cross lets me see what's happening now in your situation. Challenges and potentials, the root of the situation, the recent past, what your strengths are and what energies are coming towards you. So this reading is for the Sun, Moon, Rising sign of Aries for the second half of December. So Aries. Okay, so you have the Three of Pentacles is your current energy right now. So the Three of Pentacles is about um, quality craftsmanship. So you, you've been working hard for some towards something. Um, you've been learning a new skill perhaps or even collaborating with other people towards some kind of a goal. And you have the hanging man crossing you. So the hanging man is, um, so, so I feel like you've been putting a lot of energy into whatever skill this is that, that you're developing or whatever you've been working towards to the point where there's a little bit of um, a self-sacrifice here. Uh, you've been gaining a lot of wisdom from what it is that you're doing and working towards. You, you've been gaining a lot of skills developing yourself. Uh, but it's, it's, there's been a bit of a self-sacrifice. So you, you've been working really hard and possibly to the detriment that you could be ignoring other areas of your life. So just watch for that, Aries. Um, but whatever... Whatever has triggered this, this, this desire to, to learn and, and to expand your skill set, um, it, it's come from a place of the, you celebrating you and you wanting to grow, you wanting to learn. So it's come from a very positive place and you're very supported in this, this, in, in this transition that you're going through in developing your skills and developing yourself from others and so the energy that you have in the recent past uh, so this could be stuff that is still lingering but it is moving to the background it's the seven of wands energy so you could you could have been feeling like one of the things that that may have triggered this this need for self-development um, improving your skills um, creating more depth with your skill sets could be it could have been based in competition um, and you basically protecting yourself against competition so if this is relating to more of a career finances um, and and aspirations in your career development it could even be education as well you could be going back to school the skill set could be um, learning knowledge as well but there's there's been some competition some rivalry and you've been feeling like you need to kind of keep up with the joneses and develop yourself so then you're not left behind in what's going what's possibly happening in your career there could be things that have or even schooling so that there could be new developments and, and you're really feeling like you need to be on top of that and changes in, in the way things are moving in your field um, so what's crowning you Aries is the ace of swords I really like seeing this so this is a new idea that's coming in um, it's an, a new idea, an opportunity from the universe uh, to, to 
And, and if, if this is related to career, I feel like this is an opportunity that, that for you to, that's in your field, in this development of your skills that, um, that you can really push forward with and move forward with. Um, could even be a very unique idea. Um, so it's really nice to see that coming in. And yeah, and so you have it. This is the very near future. Um, so what's, or what's developing from this situation, from this Ace of Swords energy that's crowning you, and that is the Seven of Pentacles. And Seven of Pentacles are, it's physical, it's your earth energy. So it's your physical things, your, your tangibles, your lendables, money, possess, possessions, security. So financial security can be security in relationships as well, um, security in health, uh, but Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. So there could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn that's coming in to help you um, get this idea off the ground, or it could even... It could just be um, your energy, uh, Aries. So, but the Seven of Pentacles is, um, it's about being patient, putting in the hard work. It can also be a little bit of delayed success. So know that whatever this idea is, um, as you're getting it off the ground, it's gonna be something that will require your patience, um, determination. It will be slow in developing, um, but as long as you put the hard work in, you will have success. It's just gonna seem a little delayed. Uh, Aries, you are a fire energy. You're like the fastest move, moving energy in the tarot. Um, all about, you're all about creativity, um, desires, passion, um, you, 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 inspiration. When you're inspired by something, you're very passionate towards it and very creative type of energy. That's just who you are, Aries. So you want things to happen fast. Things do tend to happen fast for you, but just know, so this is just a little bit of a, um, a message from Spirit advising you that, that this idea, whatever it is, it's going to be something that's going to be a little slower moving than you're, you're used to, but it, 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 can be successful if you're willing to be patient okay so patience is your key message and you have also the high priestess in your position of your point of view towards a certain situation or your current attitude and the high priestess is I, I really like this energy she's one of my favorite energies so this is about intuition and trusting yourself so even though you know things might not happen as quickly as you want them to Aries trust yourself trust your intuition and know that it's coming um, and the success will be there for you but just um yeah tr really trust yourself and you have the king of cups so this is what you need to know this can also be other people that are influencing the situation and the king of cups is i generally relate the king of cups to um it, it's it's water energy so Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So this could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio that's in, in your life or around you or someone that could be helping you to achieve the success or guiding you or giving you advice. Um, because the king is, they're the master of their suits. Um, as, as a king, you go from the ace to the king. And so, so they've mastered... Um, all of the qualities of the cup sign. They're someone who is, a, they're a supportive leader, they're tolerant, they're empathetic. Uh, and so this is the type of person that could be around you helping you, or this could be your energy as well, Aries. And this is telling you that, um, that, that you'll be successful, you're gonna have that emotional success, but um, the qualities you need to bring forward in getting this initiative off the ground and getting it going, this idea, is, is being supportive, being a supportive leader. Um, usually, usually uh, Aries being a fire sign, you're, you're someone who is very bold, powerful, moving quickly, pr bringing that courage, very charming. Uh, but this is saying be, be a little bit more tolerant of others, empathetic, and being more supportive, like more of a, from a nurturing point of view. So bring that energy to the table, Aries. And you have the five of pentacles. So this is your fears here. So, so, you know, again, I really feel like this is because the situation is going to be moving slower than you expect or than what you're used to Aries, that you're going to have this fear that that's from the, the, um, that's around the five of pentacles and five of pentacles is about worrying about, um, 
worrying about financial losses, um, poverty, ill health, like any, again, uh, pentacles are the physical, they're your tangibles, your lendables, can also be physical health, or your physical health and your physical well-being. So, and five of pentacles is about loss or, or that, that sense of loss or feeling loss. And because it is in the position of your hopes and fears, I'm feeling like this is your fear here, is that you're, fe you're fearing that you're going to suffer from financial loss and you're worrying about that um, because it is slower moving than you're expecting. So this is spirit telling you not to worry about that. I'm also gonna, I'm gonna clarify that one. Um, so I'm gonna just kind of like set that over there. And yeah, because this is your potential outcome, Aries, I really feel like this is just in your head, this worry. It's it's not, um, don't, you don't have to worry about the financial loss. Um, it's not something that's coming in. It's something that you're worried about because you have your future here as the Eight of Pentacles. You have a lot of pentacles. I do really feel like, now this could be relating to re relationships. If it's relating to relationships, um, whether or not it's your family relationships or it's a romantic relationship, then this is a type of relationship that has stability because it's being, there's a lot of pentacles in here and pentacles is that slow, steady, stable type of energy. So it could be related to that, but I'm really feeling like this is more about your career, finances, abundance, um, even could be schooling, education to go into a specific kind, kind of stream or career. But you have the eight of pentacles here as your potential outcome, uh, which is fantastic because this is about you mastering your craft. So you're starting here at that three of pentacles, the beginning that skill development and, and, that, and learning a craft. And now you have mastered that craft and you're mastering that craft and you're enjoying it. You're really enjoying doing what you're doing. And so whatever this idea is that's coming in, you're going to love it. You're going to be passionate about, about it. It's going to inspire you. Um, but do know it's going to come slowly. A lot of patience, a lot of hard work. Um, you're going to have to nurture it like the King of Cups and, and be that have that supportive energy and don't worry about it that that about it being um that it's not going to happen um because it, it's going to happen as long as you are patient and put in the hard work again i do feel like this success is a lot slower moving than you're used to so i'm going to clarify that that five of pentacles that worrying type of energy oh and this just jumped out okay so this is the fool um, it's being clarified by the fool and the fool is all about a fresh fresh hope um, and taking chances and and bringing that sense of adventure so with it clarifying the five of pentacles and, and that worry card um, I really feel like this is the, the the universe that spirit is is guiding you and telling you to take that leap of faith and and, and let go of those worries um, about that that is the success isn't going to come to you. Just take that 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 leap of faith, um, take that chance, and just have the hope of that fresh hope that that the, that perspective of the fool who is just embarking on a journey um, is trusting that the universe is going to have his back, um, whether or not he's ready or prepared. I mean, the fool is just beginning a quest, just beginning a journey, um, and does trust that the universe will will meet all of his or her needs and and that's how it's being clarified just trust in yourself Aries so that's it's very positive so the the overall message here is to just be patient put in the hard work um, try not to worry try not to overthink and overanalyze and um, and just take that leap of faith and listen to your gut trust your intuition so I'm also going to pull an angel tarot card so this is um, just one final message is from Spirit, from the angels. I really like these cards, they're very beautiful. Um, they're a little big for my hands. <laughs> so I, I'm, I, I know I look awkward shuffling these. It's almost painful shuffling these. There we go. And you have the Ace of Air. So Aries, this is fantastic because the Ace of Air is the Ace of Swords energy. So it's come up twice for you. So this, I feel like this is a reminder from Spirit that a brilliant new idea and inspiration is coming your way and that you need to see the truth of this situation and, and this, this, you're at the beginning of a new challenge and it's very exciting, but it's one that's going to really inspire you and motivate you and bring that, um, 
that that passion and that that clarity for for you and clarifying your life so fantastic i'm really happy to see that twice in there for you so i'm now going to pull a living reiki healing card um, sometimes um, reiki is all about energy healing and sometimes we can block positive things coming into our life because we have energy blockages um, just around us and, and, and mental blocks in our thoughts and our thought patterns and that can sometimes block our success. So I like these Reiki living Reiki healing cards um, because it's just something to focus on that can help you to release those blocks. So what can we focus on for the last half of December Aries is you are living. Actually you got two here so I'm going to go through both of them. So lucky you. So you got you are living and you got compassion. So with the you are living, it's about being more in touch with your experiences. And that helps you to realize that you are living rather than just existing. And that is uh, one of the benefits of meditation because it allows you to experience and enjoy a feeling of being at one with yourself and the universe. So that really kind of touches onto the um, high priestess and listening to your intuition. Aries and then we've got compassion which I mean the king of cups is a compassionate leader and that is that supportive tolerant empathetic leader so for the message here for you Aries is that just for today or just for the two weeks of last two weeks of December you will be kind to every living creature and I'm going to pull one more card and this is the wisdom for healing card uh, deck so and I find this is all about your attitudes and, and how, how your daily attitude, how you wake up in the morning, whether or not you see the cup as half empty, half full, um, your perspective, your attitude in life, and, and how that can influence how you experience life. So it's just something that you can focus on for the uh, last two weeks of December to have a more positive outlook on life. So we have become better. So Aries, your lesson for the last two weeks of December is to discover one thing that would make you better and more empowered at what you do and who you are and make it part of your routine. If this is difficult, identify why becoming better is something you wouldn't want to do. So your goal for the last two weeks of December is to recognize how and why you sabotage your empowerment. And possibly it could be about in being impatient and worrying um, about things when they ha don't happen as quickly as you are. I don't know. I'm just, it's just a suggestion for you, Aries. So that concludes your reading for the second half of December, Aries. I really hope you enjoyed this reading. Uh, please be sure to like, share, subscribe, and, um, and hit that notification bell so I will see you back for the January reading. I'm also doing a... 2020 forecast reading for the year of uh, 2020 so keep your eyes open for that and again I'm also going to be doing a special contest for those of you who are subscribed um, that will come out later this month so thank you for watching and take care Eric